Good evening mga kapuso. Siyempre panibagong Wednesday na naman para sa ating lahat dito sa Just In. Diyos ko alam nyo guys, gusto lang namin siyempre pasalamatan ni Paolo Contis yung mga naging guest na namin dito sa Just In. At saka yung mga magiging guest pa lang namin dahil guys, pinipilahan nyo kami ha. Grabe ha. Sobrang salamat sa time na binibigay ninyo sa amin para lang makausap namin kayo at makakwentuhan namin kayo online. Para rin siyempre ma-update natin yung mga fans ninyo kung ano na yung ginagawa ninyo sa buhay nyo ngayon, di ba? Siyempre, yun yung importante doon. Kaya maraming maraming salamat dahil eto na nga, from season 1 to season 3. Diyos ko, nandito pa rin kayo. Kung hindi dahil sa guests natin at kung hindi dahil sa mga followers natin, walang just in season 3. So, nung nabanggit nga sa akin na kung sino daw yung magiging guest ko, sabi ko, oh my gosh, ang classic. Sigurado ako yung mga kaedad ko makaka-relate dito sa guest natin tonight. So, wag na natin patagalin pa guys. Kasi ngayong gabi, ang special guest natin, model and now an accomplished painter, please welcome, Jao Mapa! Yay! Oh, uh, Virtual palakpak. Uh, 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 wow, ang daming palakpak na. <laughs> Oo, oh, di ba? Hello, hello, hello and welcome to Just In. Jao, how are you? How have you been? Kumusta kayo and your family? Hi, Vanessa. Um, I'd like to say congratulations. You're in your third streak of uh, itong palakpak para sa'yo. Sa inyo pala ni Paolo. Thank you uh, sa amin ni Paolo. I mean, uh, you're pretty much blessed and I'm very happy to be here and uh, I'm happy also that you're hosting it and it's not Paolo. <laughs> Bakit? Parang mali yata, patata okay, si Paolo okay. dito ah. <laughs> uh, tagal ko na kilala si Paolo eh, so at least uh, like uh, new faces naman to face. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, well, pwede mo namang ilaglag si Paolo, si Paolo dito mamaya eh. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, pwede, pwede. <laughs> Yeah, okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, my family, we're doing fine. Uh, we're doing great uh, despite this pandemic. Uh, yes. Just uh, following protocols and uh, yes. adjusting to the new norm. Uh, yes. We're, we're pretty much always at home. We've been never been this close <laughs> in our entire lives. Um, Actually, totoo pandemic. yan. Yeah, and... Uh, um, it's great, actually. Uh, this is one of the good things that uh, coming out of, for this pandemic. Uh, mm-hmm. Ngayon, so, na natin sa kanya. We're really, really close to him asking for really blessings and for safety uh, in this uh, pandemic. And uh, I'm pretty much blessed uh, despite the pandemic. And, uh, this is one of the blessings that I have uh, being interviewed in this show. So, uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yung uh, current situation ko ngayon. Ayun. Tama ka doon sa sinabi mo na this is one thing na magandang nangyari because of the pandemic. Di ba? So, tamang-tama ka talaga doon. <laughs> <laughs> are you in Manila or are you somewhere in the province right now? I'm in Quezon City. Uh, I go. Ah, I go, so dito kayo nag lockdown. Dito kayo nag lockdown. Yes, but I go to Quezon City weekends. weekends. There was a time though okay. when I was here in Quezon City when when uh, when I had the lockdown. Na iwan ko yung mga anak ko sa Antipolo. My two boys. I left them with my my group my my folks, my, my mom and dad. E eh, nagka lockdown. So siguro baka a month or two. They were there. They were stuck there. So nakahiwalay kami. I, I only had my mag-ina here, my, 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 my baby daughter. But she's not a baby anymore. She's a really teenager. Uh, my mom, uh, her mom was here. My wife was here. So tatlo lang kami. And my two boys were in Antipolo. So it's kind of hard on my part because the the, the family was kind of um, in different places. But it was a help also for my, my parents. So, sila lang dalawa doon sa Antipolo. So, they got company. I mean, with my, my two boys. So, that was a blessing. Um, and then, after the, the, the lockdown, ayun na, they were able to be here already. So, eto, kompleto na naman kami. Ayan. Problem. At least, ano, naiwan sila with the family member also. Yes. At least, meron, ano. May nag-aalaga sa mga magulang ko. <laughs> Hindi sa kanila. <laughs> the other way around. Oh, oh, correct. Yeah. Correct. 
Now, punta tayo sa sobrang throwback. Noon, noon. Ito yung segment na tinatawag natin na noon at ngayon. We'll just flash some photos. Don't worry. Um, na-browse ko naman na yung photos na ipa-flash namin at ipapakita namin sa wholesome naman siya. So, kung, um, kung bagay, uh, tinanggal mo uh, na yung safe. mga... Yung mga hindi magaganda. Na, nakita ko na hindi magaganda. Tinanggal mo na. Sinalan, naisalansan na nila lahat yon So, safe naman yung <laughs> ano, safe yung mga photos na makikita natin dito. So, sisimulan na natin yan sa photo number one. At habang, syempre, pag tinig na natin yung photo number one, kukwentuhan mo kami tungkol dito sa photos na to. Nag-start daw yung career mo sa entertainment industry. Nung gumawa ka ng commercial for a soda. What? Ang dami na. 1990s so, wait, 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 Wow! Oh my God! Tino mo. Si Donna Cruz pa to. Oo nga. <laughs> We did a movie together. Yeah, Other Viva. Kasama namin dito si Ian De Leon. And... Gosh, ang dami bag. mo palang moving na gawa. Itong right, the one with... Uh, actually, most of which are... Uh, yung mga clothes. The one me in the blue polo and then me in the uh, in the white t-shirt. Those are clothes. Uh-huh. But I was also a model. I was introduced as the fourth whooping in Palibasa. The bench was sponsoring my uh, my outfit uh, back then. Uh, the one in the corner below is uh, me wearing uh, talking talking to someone. We shot in. Ayan yung soft in, drinks. Ayan yung soda. Oh, yeah, oh. that's all. Uh, we shot in, uh, in India. I stayed there for nine days. I remember the director said uh, to all the extras there, the one, the actors, the bit rollers, they were all having ano uh, bigote. Kasi mga Indian nga eh, di ba? So galit na galit uh-huh. yung director ko. Sabi niya, hey, all of you, you, you shave your your, your mustaches. Your mustaches. In the Philippines, uh-huh. not in India. So they started shaving and then... <laughs> That's the story of that. Um, yeah, and then there's a section, there's a second commercial talk for that, which I've been trying to find. I, I had a copy of it, but it's not in, it, the the second commercial was shot already here. And then nag co host ka din sa ano, nag co host ka sa Eat Bulaga. Nag co host ako sa Eat Bulaga. Tama ba? Ako, na, naging, naging co host din ako sa uh, ASAP. 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 Mm-hmm. Na po sila. That was being hosted by Apo, Apo Hiking Society back then. Yes, correct. Yeah. I remember. And then every day, parang parang eat bulagasa yung isang linggo. Kaya isang linggo na po sila. Yes. But yes, Kaya I was linggo, also correct, correct. for eat bulaga. They were asking me to do eat bulaga. But I was doing a lot of shows then. So eat bulaga was, uh, was also... Siguro I did for a couple of... Uh, episodes I did for it bulaga. In demand. Sobrang in demand ka noon kasi tina mo dito sa second then. photo na ipapakita natin sa iyo. That was back then. Oh. So, oh. I, mean, I I started with with palibasa lalaki talaga. I actually yun na nga. started. Yun yung started. next yun yung next slide ng photo na papakita natin kasi yun yung ginawa mo na yung ang TV palibasa lalaki. Um tas nag-guest ka sa magpakailanman wish ko lang nagkaroon ka ng yeah. film na uh, There, there you go. Uh, Hataw there's na, the, uh, pare ko, dahil tanging ikaw. Yan. Yan, 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 yan. And yan, then, yan, pare yan, ko. Yan. Yeah, pare ko. Pare ko came after Palibasa Lalaki. Two years later, after after Palibasa Lalaki, pare ko came in. It was directed by uh, Joey Reyes. Um, I started as a, a, a mod. I, I started modeling, actually model uh, I model for garments ito yung humble beginnings mo tama yes yes and then um, in one of those pictorials uh, Tito Douglas may he rest in peace was there he was the executive mm. producer and of Palibasa Lalaki and manager of practically everybody in Palibasa Lalaki so Richard Gomez to Carmina yes. Villanueva to The Guoping to Joey Marquez except me mm-hmm. Um, he said that uh, why don't you ano um, uh, actually I was I was uh, pinasok ako ni Vera Isberto Tito Vera Isberto also rest in peace um, was the one who became my manager mm-hmm. then and he said na you uh, you let uh, Vera be your manager and I will, I will I will I will take you under my wing that's what Tito Douglas 
Uh-huh. So, nagpi-pitch na lang siya ng mga projects sa akin. Which is, uh, everyone thought that I was okay. under Douglas Quijano, but I was really with Vera is there. Simula nung 90s, so sobrang dami ng roles na a dream role that you would want to portray someday. Uh, they, they always ask me that question. Uh, probably I'd do a... Di ba? Laging natatanong yun eh. Pero sa tingin mo, for like now, meron, meron pa ba? I'd say that I'd like to do a multiple character someday. Parang yung sa, ano, yung split? Yeah. That one. Yon. And you know what? I haven't mm. watched that yet, ha? Hindi ko pa napapanood yan. Nakuwento lang sa akin yan, ha? But it would be an interesting thing to do. Sige, tutuloy na natin. So, dito sa third slide natin, meron tayo nung photos mo with the guapings. Okay. Right. Diba? Naging ghost ba kayo nila Kuya Jomari, ni Eric, tsaka ni Mark Anthony Fernandez? Ayan, no? Tignan mo naman. Bagets na bagets. <laughs> Actually, I, I came in palibas sa laki at the end ready of the, the season. Parang... Mm-hmm. They had 11 seasons and I only came in about latter, mga end pa end na. So, I only had uh, the chance to be with them two years. 93, 94, I think 95. 96, wala na yata sa palibasa sa lalaki. So, in those three years, nakilala ko sila. Very nice guys. Mababayit ang mga gopings, wala ko masabi. I look up to them, uh, uh, all three of them, from John Marie to Eric to Mark. Siguro ang, ang naging close sa akin, si Eric, up to this date. Uh, Eric Fructoso. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we still, uh, we still have communication with each other. Sometimes I give him gigs. Mm-hmm. I know his status right now. He's a very successful businessman right now. He's got a lot of shops, uh, food shops. Uh, he's got a motor shop. He's got a dog. <laughs> he's doing fine. He's doing great. Um, with Mark, uh, he's also okay. Jomari was also successful uh, with the politics. So uh, I know yes. they're uh, pretty much uh, established their own right. At least pala you used to get to um, talk to them, my communication. Par- Pero mas, mas madalas kayo may communication nga ni Eric Procto, so like you mentioned. Yes. yes, yes. So since naging close din naman kayo, pupunta tayo dun sa mas, mag- mas naging ka-close mo. Sa ano, sa fourth photo naman natin. His family. Yan. Uh-huh. Happily married, of course, yes. to Cecil. Mga anak ninyo, si Benjamin, si Caleb, and si yeah, Ben. Uh, okay. The one holding the, the uh-huh. red pillow. That's my son, Ben. He's my eldest. Of course, my wife, me, and then Caleb. That's Caleb. Ben is 18. Caleb is 15. Stacy is 14. Buti na lang, uh, they all look like my wife. That's why they're all beautiful. My son's already uh, graduating from high school. Hindi pa nagsisink in sa akin eh. Pero I'll be having a college student soon. Uh, Ayan na. Yeah. My boy Caleb is in grade 9 and Stacy's in grade 8. She's very pretty. Uh, she's very smart. Meron bang isa sa kanila na sabi nila, ano, dad, gusto ko mag-artista? Wala. Um, I see, Wala. Uh, ano eh, uh, split siya eh. Well, parang uh, broken into different pieces. Eh. Let's say, uh, my daughter. My daughter uh, likes to, uh, likes TikTok, right? So she's the more, okay. she's the more uh, versatile or how would you say, more tech savvy in terms of uh, cameras. Uh, okay. editing she knows those kinds of stuff so uh, my my son naman Caleb, Caleb. O- although o- all of them know how to draw all okay. of them know how to paint they're 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 all they're all artists in their own right but Caleb is more um, he likes fixing stuff you know he likes destroying stuff he likes fixing stuff and that's, that's the kind of person he is my son Ben is a uh, smart kid very smart smarter than me smarter than anybody put together here in this family i mean um i see him as a rocket scientist someday na distribute ng maayos yun 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 tama yung term na yan vanessa you got the words right out of my mouth 
na distribute ng maayos yung ano yung talento nung nanay at ah. ng tatay na distribute ng maayos Kala ko yung jeans eh. Parang jeans yun eh, di ba? O, oh, pwede yun. din yung jeans. Oo. Pwede na rin. Oo, oh, jeans <laughs> din. Ganun din. Oo, uh, di ba? At dahil pinag-uusapan na rin natin yung talent, yung jeans nila, yung yung creativity ng bawat individual, ng bawat uh, characteristics or character ng anak, Pupunta tayo dun. When did you start to paint? Tayo, di ba? Tapawa natin. Kailangan natin ng taping. Oo, no work, no pay tayo din. Correct? Diba? I'm also looking for projects, pero wala. Wala hmm. talaga. What happened was, ever since I also started praying, God's Father also asked, answered those questions. He answered them by uh, by my painting. Hmm. I started to paint. Every day, I started to paint, and I sold it online. When I sold it online, I got clients not only here in the Philippines, but also from abroad, like the U.S. Abroad. Yeah. So at uh, least you get to ship out your paintings. Exactly. I, I burn about on an hour, and then I have this canvas uh, made for for these paintings. Uh, this, is, this is last year. Right now, uh, it's, it's different now. I used to do acrylic on canvas. Now I'm doing watercolor on, on paper. My my college USC, uh, they were able to. They were looking for an artist, hmm. right? They were looking for a painter. They couldn't have their painters. They couldn't have their artists. Uh, they couldn't get their artists because their the, their artists were in contract with the Ayala Museum. So in effect, they cannot get their artists because nga, you know, So they got me. When they got me. They were they have a project of uh, bags, banig bags. You're supposed to paint on the banig bag, and then um, uh, proceeds would be given to the cha- to charity. The charity is uh, for those students okay. cannot continue with their education. And I was able to do siguro mga 18 banig bags. People can browse through my FB. I've been posting my banig bag. Actually, meron ako dito eh. Ayon. Meron pa ba niyan? Uh, you have right now, you have to, to to DM me and then I will send you my uh, this is how I do it. I send my my stash my stack of uh banig bags. Yung mga nagdawa ko and then uh, pwede mong ipagawa or uh kung may naisip kang picture na ako mag-interpret I will get this banig bag. I will get a bunny bag and I'll paint it. First corner, right? Yes. Okay. I went to USC mm-hmm. and I brought the bags. I surrendered them. Uh, I gave the bags on that day. And then they, we had a contract signing. And I didn't get anything for that. Huh? For the ah, love of... Kasi lang. nga, for the love of yan. Pero yung oh. mga susunod ngayon, yun nga yung sinasabi mo kanina na um, people will have to send you a direct message na para dun sa... Yes, to make a bag. To have a bag. Oh, banig na gusto nila, yes. We'll go to this one in the left. I miss that painting. This painting, nag-uupisa pa lang ako niyan eh. That's in Antipolo, that house. Uh, that used to be my, the setup of my my room. The picture on the Yung corner. Yung nasa baba kanina. Hello. Uh, I was invited to UAE. Kuwait. 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 They got me. They got me to to sing. Uh, to sing. And then they uh-huh. told me, I could bring my paintings and sell them there. So I sold them there, brought them rolled. Nakarolyo siya eh. Hindi mo siya pwedeng dali naka-frame dahil ang laki. Yes. laki. I asked for assistance na pwedeng ilapa, ilagay lang sa board, and then do an exhibit. And then after the exhibit, I did the show. So that picture, Yo. that's the ground where we where I did the show. Nag-artista ka na ba nung na-realize mo na may special talent ka sa painting? Bata pa ako, nag, nag, uh, nag, mag-paint na ako. Bata pa, great. Nung, ah, so nauna yung was, painting bago uh, yung acting. Oo, oh, six years old pa lang ako, no? when I, or five years old. When I learned how to, uh, when I picked up a pencil, I started drawing it. When I got to showbiz, um, there was a time na uh, I stopped in showbiz because I had to choose between... Mm-hmm. Finishing my college. Painting or degree. acting. 
or continue acting. And I was already at the brink, huh? cut off the sh- uh, story short. I said, I don't know, just finish college. And I turned my back 180 degrees, degrees with, with showbiz and everybody got shot. I mean, it was a big thing actually. Everybody tried to, sh- tried to convince me to go back. Uh, yes. Asking why. Yung mga tinatatanawin ka pa nila eh, sigurado ka ba dyan? Bakit? Tito I had, ka ni. Eh. Of... Yung mga ganun, had... di ba? Exactly. exactly. And I had a, I had a, I had a lot of negative uh, press because of that. And mm-hmm. I couldn't mm-hmm. answer it. I couldn't answer them because I'm out of show with Marin. Yeah. So, Uh-oh. I mean, Uh-oh. if you get out of show with, it's not that easy. But let's just say I just took a break. And mm-hmm. um, after after leaving showbiz, I got a family. I found my wife, my beautiful wife, and I, I found my. Uh, we had my. Uh, I had my my three kids, and in between from that time, say 2000, eh? 2000. From that time, 2000 mm-hmm. up to the present time, okay. They would always. They would. I would have always questions of. Di ka ba nagsisisi? Di ka ba nagsisisi na dapat tinuloy mo na lang? Siguro hindi ka magkakaproblema na ganyan, ganyan. And the, the, these, these are like, these are running through my mind. like, oh nga, no? parang mali yata ginawa ako. Ha? Parang dapat binrecho ko na lang. Pero, I mean, you, Vanessa, I mean, would you like to have a family and be in showbiz at the same time? And, you know, it, 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 it's kind of hard, di ba? If you want to be in Well, may well, hirap din naman siyang i-balance eh. Pero it it's ano, it's uh it, it will also depend on your priorities at that moment. Okay. So, um that's that. Ano na nangyari na? Mm-hmm. But here's the turning point. It's when I, it's when the lockdown came in. It's when the lockdown came in. That I realized that showbiz could not help me in the lockdown. Mm. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a job. I didn't have any projects. What saved my life? The painting. Pagiging artist. Uh-oh. Pagiging pintor. Mm-hmm. Yung mga pinakirap ako since, since day one of, of college, since I was born, being an artist, yun yung sumalba sa akin. And yeah, now I can Thank proudly you. say I made a good decision. Yes. Right? Uh oh. And I'm telling a great story. That I'm not only that I, not only that, that that I'm getting I'm making uh because of this planet, but actually it's a talagang bumubuhay na sa akin. Yun. Yun na yun. So sa pag usapan na natin yung from your humble beginnings, kung paano ka nagsimula, eh, diretso, nahanap mo yung, yung, um, yung pinaka-passion mo talaga, which is, ito, yung bubuhay sa'yo ngayon, sa family mo, na yeah. at the same time, you are also enjoying, which is painting. So, syempre, yeah. thank you for sharing sa atin, sa amin, sa viewers natin dito sa Justin, no kung problem. ano yung nangyari sa'yo within the years na nasa loob ka ng showbiz hanggang dun sa nag-decide ka na op 360. Yeah. Yeah. Ayoko muna yeah. mag-showbiz na. Focus muna ako dito sa ibang bagay. So, yeah. yun. At least mga ka-Justin, alam nyo na kung ano yung nangyari kay Jao Mapa. Alam nyo kung ano yung naging turning point ng buhay niya, kung ano yung naging desisyon niya sa buhay niya. Na sinabi niya naman sa, sa atin na hindi niya pinagsisisihan. Um, na ngayon, na-enjoy niya rin kung ano yung ginagawa niya, di ba? So from the noon at ngayon segment, we are going to our last segment na this is what we call sisimulan ko, tatapusin mo. So I'll just give you phrases, tapos we'll just finish it with whatever thought comes to your mind first. Maikli lang to, this is only five phrases. Okay, game. Number one, uh, the happiest experience I had was... Uh, I brought my paintings uh, with my wife. Uh, to a friend of ours. Number two, my life would be less if... My life would be less if there was no God. Mm-hmm. Tama yun. 
Number three, career and family are? My life. <laughs> Number four, I will keep coming back to? I will keep coming back to painting. And last na to, number five, I will. I always believe that. I always believe that there's always a reason for everything. God has all the answers. He doesn't tell you in time, at his right time, at his perfect time. It will be perfect timing. Yes. Nako, 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 nako. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Jao Mapa, for joining us tonight. Nako, mga ka-Justin, sigurado ko sa inyo. Sabi ko sa inyo, di ba? Throwback nga to eh. Piling ko, ito na yata yung pinaka-ultimate throwback episode ko. Ata ha, sa Justin, sa tatlong season na nagawa ko, feeling ko ito yung ultimate throwback ko. Tapos, dahil ito nga yung ultimate throwback ko, at nalaman natin kung ano yung ginagawa ni Jao Mapa sa buhay niya ngayon na hindi siya nag artista Although, hindi siya umalis. May mga ginagawa pa rin siyang projects. Siyempre, we would um, want you to invite our viewers, your fans, Um, kung ano yung ginagawa mo ngayon, promote your social media accounts, your paintings okay. especially. Um, go ahead. Thank you very much, uh, Vanessa. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that uh, salamat sa lahat ng mga nakaalala pa sa akin at salamat din sa mga ngayon lang na nakakakilala sa akin. Hi, hello. Uh, this is me. Um, yeah, I used to be an artist before. Uh, back in the 90s, uh, so I'm in the history books. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to say that I'm continuing my uh, my craft through painting right now. But I'm not leaving the man. I'm not saying that I've left uh, showbiz because I have also been around indie film, stage plays as well, uh, mm-hmm. TV series. Uh, in the entertainment business, I've probably done a lot of it. Uh, Um, right now, I'm I'm pretty much uh, blessed to be in the uh, arts of uh, painting. So uh, I'm making my I want to make my name right now as a painter. Um, I've been joking uh, that I'd like to be a national artist someday. So tagal pa naman yun. Pero ang sa akin lang, I just love to paint. So I just keep on painting. Um, right now, uh, I I sell my uh, My, you can see my works uh, via IG. Just look for Jao Mapa. And I also am in uh, Facebook. So uh, just DM me if you're interested. Um, I don't have a website, but I do personally send my, my, my works for those who are interested. Um, but for those who just want to see, okay then. Uh, just tell me if you, you want to see. And I can show you my works. Um, I'm also in Yippie. Um, follow me. Uh, my username there is Dragon76. That's D R A G O N 76. And I do uh, on the spot live stream painting. Um, I'm also in Leica just recently. And may, uh, may 20 gems na ako. <laughs> But I'm new at Leica. <laughs> Um, just kidding aside. Um, yeah, that's one of th- those are the social medias that I am visible right now. So I post, uh, yeah, uh, also Instagram very much for uh, this. Um, kudos and uh, also uh, please send my regards to uh, Paolo, uh, my brother over there. And uh, you guys keep it real. You're doing a very good job. Uh, proud of you. Go just in. And God Thank bless you so you much, Jao Mapa, again. Sige. Yon, God bless you all. of course. All you, Ag- your, your director and your producer and all your staff. Love thank you, you thank you. From, from the team, thank you so much again for joining us tonight and for being with us here sa Just In. Maraming maraming salamat sa'yo, Jao Mapa, sa oras na ibinahagi mo sa amin dito for... for sharing your art also and your painting sa amin. DM nyo siya sa Facebook kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng banig na merong painting ni Jao Mata. Or IG. Guys, Facebook or IG. 
Facebook or IG. IG. Facebook or IG. Ayan, 90s yan, 90s. And also, if you guys um still want to watch our previous episodes, kung hindi nyo nyo napanood, busy kayo, huwag kayo magalala dahil mapapanood din nyo yan sa mga social media accounts ng GMA Artist Center. Just like and subscribe, GMA Artist Center uh, Facebook page, YouTube, or Instagram accounts. And also, pwede kayo mag-send ng comments din doon or ng messages sa amin. Kung sino pa yung mga next na gusto ninyong usapin, kakwentuhan natin dito sa Justin. So, bukod doon, wag na rin nyo rin akong kakalimutan i-follow sa Instagram ko, sa Facebook ko, at saka sa YouTube channel ko. So, again, thank you mga kapuso, mga ka-Justin. Thanks for joining us. Um, we will see you again next week. Salamat sa pagsubaybay hanggang sa Season 3. Ah!